I'm sitting here in Las Vegas, Nevada with J. Neil Shulman, the author of Alongside Night. Great to have you with us, Neil. Good talking with you, Pete. Uh, would you mind telling a, a little bit about the book Alongside Night to the viewers who may not be familiar with it? Sure. Alongside Night is a novel which I started writing in the 1970s uh, as part of, I guess you would call it my, my movement influence from economists like Murray Rothbard and particularly uh, because of my association with Samuel Edward Konkin III who had pretty much just gotten into the transition from libertarianism as a generic thing into agorism and counter-economics in particular. Agorism is the idea of libertarianism in practice. What is libertarianism but the idea that freedom works, that economics rather than force is a way to have not only uh, a just society but a productive society that from the individual level uh, on up multiplied many many times you you get a society of individual transactions that's you know that's the fundamental of uh, of Austrian economics that the that the, mac the macro is simply an addition of all sorts of micro transactions um, uh, everybody with their subjective values interacting and creating and, and creating a market and so Sam asked the question how do we get from here to there uh, there were a lot of people who said we could do it through politics. This was, you know, the early 70s when the Libertarian Party was first getting going. Uh, you had the people who were leaving the conservative movement to become libertarians. You had uh, the, the objectivists who, uh, who had their own thing going, uh, you know, really just a few years earlier until 68 uh, uh, when the Nathaniel Brandon Institute broke apart. So you had all these, you know, various different factions trying to find a way to get to a free society. Ayn Rand at this point was uh, simply saying, uh, it's too early for politics, you know, it's, it's time for philosophy and teaching philosophy, getting people to think before they can even think about, you know, wh what to do in a political sense. And Sam, of course, was trying to apply economics as a way of getting there. And so counter-economics was the means of separating the free section of the economy from the controlled section, the, the, uh, the point at which the, uh, the state could no longer govern it. And agorism is the total philosophy of how to, in essence, transition from the state of society to the free society through the economics, economic means rather than through means of force and politics. We know trouble's on the way right now. You look at the scope of the debt that can't be liquidated, that, 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 that the economy is going to choke on, that uh, is beyond uh, the re repairability, that, that no laffer curve can lower taxes enough to fix. And then you, and then you say, okay, it's going to happen. You don't need to create a revolution. The revolution is going to happen. They've done it to themselves. Now the question is, can we create the, the scenario that we had in the long side night of being able to create the protected markets that will survive this? That's the question. It doesn't seem like you think like demonstration is necessarily the best method to, to, to inform people of these ideas or to put them on the radar, but I know you've, you know, through your writing and you have you have some other projects, movies and things. Well, yeah. I mean, look, it, it, it comes, it comes, I mean, even Abby Hoffman talked about, you know, in, in, in the 1960s, he saw that what he was doing was a form of marketing, a, a form of uh, advertising of publicity. Right. And it's, it's pretty much the same thing, right, you know, that we're doing right now. We're trying, you know, in, in market terms, what we're trying, trying to do is take ideas which have a, uh, a group of early adopters. And that's, that's what activists are, are, hardcore activists are early adopters. Okay, and now we're trying to, in the business sense, cross the chasm to the mass market. We're trying to package agorism for the mass media. We're trying to go into competition worldwide with the other isms, with Marxism, with socialism, with fascism, a a as a way of attracting people. And what we have to do is we have to, first of all, we have to show the practicality of it because people aren't going to be interested in something which is impractical. But on the other hand, we also have to show the, the, the long range benefit of it and that's where you get into the show and tell and a little bit of utopianism and a little bit of uh, uh, of, of science fiction of, of being able to not only talk about it but show people what you're talking about in and in in, in, a, in the sense of a market projection what uh, websites would you recommend people go to to get more uh, knowledge about these ideas or uh, to be able to contact you to uh, give you a hand um, there's a lot of resources on the web. First of all, uh, alongsidenight.com, uh, where 
trying to build up into sort of a portal, both for the Alongside Night Entertainment uh, project, and that is uh, a, new, uh, a new hardcover edition of the book, a graphic novel which is going to be edited and directed by Scott Beezer, who's already worked with L. Neil Smith uh, on, a, uh, on a graphic novel version of The Probability Brooch and A Drug War Carol. Um, we're going to be uh, creating an audio book, a massively multi-user online game, and then my favorite project, which is to do the movie. Appreciate your time today, Neil. Thank you very much. It's almost like a free state process of liberty in our lifetime.